been a tough, horrible, unanticipated, unprepared for crappy year called the pandemic. But before we rush back to normal, a normal where there were a lot of overworked, underpaid, angry, frustrated, and depressed people who hated their jobs and lived for their weekends, can we consider a new normal? Take a breath with me. Ah. And consider a new PPP, post-pandemic possibilities. What if conforming to the world was exploring the world? What if the question, what do you want to be when you grow up, little girl, turns into how many streets of life do you want to explore? What if there was another way to grow up believing in yourself so that you don't have to attend the school of hard knocks? What if the current push to do well in subjects that you are not good at or choose a school that you can't afford or to declare a major when you are still a minor in life are not the pressures that cook us raw? What if there was another career path where words like rat race and dog eat dog and climbing or clawing our way to the top are not in our career ladder vocabulary? What if big business control and imbalance resulting in people stuck in jobs they hate, contributing to dreams that are not their own, were BS belief systems that had to be called out? Like cookies that had to be deleted in a mind browser. What if the lesson in the pandemic is that the trajectory that we have been on needs a hard reset? What if the real virus in our society is currently structured to help a few and hurt many? What if we could say, help our own and help others in the same breath? What if we grew up with global patriotism instead of warring nationalism and not afraid of helping socialism? What if we were taught how to see past skin color and learn how to value others for who they are? What if you were taught how to value who you are, especially when value was not found growing up at home? What if I knew I was important without anyone telling me? What if I knew that I was of value so that I didn't have to go around asking people to appraise me? What if world peace started with an okayness with ourselves, who we are and what we think in the imperfect, perfect persona that we splatter on this world? What if we learned self-care skills so that we wouldn't thrash about so much when we were in the middle of the dis-ease with life? What if we could care for others without hurting myself? What if we valued ourselves enough to take care of our own selves, our body, our mind, and our soul? What if we each took responsibility for our own choices and quit blaming others when we insist on dragging our past along with us as an excuse to behave badly? What if we learned relationship skills as soon as we learned addition, subtraction, and how to dissect a frog? What if we knew that all life was valuable, even when we disagreed on how people were living? What if we cut people some more slack when we know they should know better, but because of their own humanness, they temporarily missed a take? What if the purpose of life is not to die with the most toys to leave our squabbling relatives? What if the purpose of life was to do things that we enjoy most of the time, have relationships that we enjoy most of the time, and use our unique talents, gifts, and abilities to fully express in the dash between birth and death? What if there is nothing to be afraid of? 
What if everything that happens to us is for our divine and best good, even if it doesn't feel good? What if death is not that big of a deal? What if the concept of death is not the hill we want to die on? What if tragedy is not really tragic? What if people dying in tragedy has purpose in releasing more love that we may have trapped inside our minds and our bodies? What if challenges that we face because of skin color or physical limitations or gender or our differences are all conditions that can grow and chisel and elevate us into the most magnificent of sculptures? What if I can turn every single bad, shitty thing that ever happened to me into rich fertilizer to birth and grow all of the potential that I was born with? What if life does not suck? What if I knew I was one of a kind wonderful, that I had a unique gift, talent, and ability to unleash on life one glorious year, day, month, and season of life? What if, as a direct result of this horrible pandemic, we could rise out of the ashes with the new PPP? post-pandemic possibilities. Well, you can. You can rise. You can live in my what if. It just starts with choosing happiness. Choosing to love this thing called life. And drop the rock of BS belief systems that have tricked you into thinking that you are not enough. Because all of this is possible if you choose to believe in you first and foremost. Because the buck stops right over here with you, with me, and with us. The sooner you turn, it's impossible, to I. Possible. The what ifs become possible too. Because you are loving, lovable, and loved, wrapped in a warm blanket of worthiness. But it may start with getting out of bed and making it. What if starts with Hi, I'm Dr. Marissa, broadcasting live from this thing called life, trying to get you to drink my rose-colored Kool-Aid and join my Happy 88 mission, 88 million more happy people in the next eight years.